up. That's fine. If you want to go to the side, that's good. Exhale and release. You did very well. You're right. right. I, I think the balance is great. Uh, much better on the other side. It all comes with focus and practice. So keep coming here. Keep driving in here. And bring your friends with you. <laughs> it is a long way. Anytime you're here, you're welcome. We shoot quite often. I think Mr. Hammond would be very good at this because <coughs> he's quite into keep fit. Where is he? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he's just camera shy, maybe. Is he? Yeah, he probably, yeah he's very definitely camera shy. <laughs> do you want to keep going? or shall I, I would love to know a little more about your car. So let's do a few more stretches and then we'd, we'd okay. like to talk about your cars. You're happy to keep going? Yeah. How about you, Claudia and Vikram? You're okay? Yes. All right. Now, once again, heels are together, toes are slightly apart. This time we're going to transition four postures, one after the other. It's going to be very graceful, very slow, very controlled. We're just going to transition, and I'll talk you through it, so it's not a problem. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. This time, clasp your opposite elbows. Very nice. Now, once you've clasped them, bring your elbows back as far back as you can. Bring your shoulders back. We're going to exhale and fold from the hip. Keep your back nice and straight. Exhale and fold. You'll find that as you keep exhaling, you will go deeper and deeper. And all you want is one millimeter every day. You want to feel the depth of the stretch. Just go deeper one millimeter every day. You're not going to measure that. But you're going to feel it. Keep exhaling. Now, very gently unclasp your hands. Place your palms on the floor about 16 inches in front of your feet. Then when your palms are nice and flat, take the left foot back. Palms on the floor, good. And then take the right foot back. And we're already in mountain posture. And dip your head between your hands. So you should feel a beautiful hamstring stretch. If you feel your heels are not, I, please stay there. This is also a good rest posture. If you feel your heels are not touching the ground today, you want to make the connection, you can place your foot on the brick. That's good. Claudia. OK. Now, right from this position, you're already in mountain position. We're going to take our left foot forward. Now, if your foot doesn't come all the way in the first shot, just use your hands and bring them forward. And dip your pelvis, dip your hip. Very gently place your left knee on the floor, uncurl your toe, uh, your right knee on the floor, uncurl your toes. And let's come back just a little bit. I place. Sorry, you're feeling that stretch. No, my jeans are giving me a slight problem with uh, the gentleman's I should but... say you're very sporting. You're stretching in jeans, yeah. so yeah. good for you. Well, I've gone quite faint as well. Careful. Okay, okay. And this is the last posture, and then we want to talk to you and ask you a little bit about your driving. You okay? Inhale, raise the right arm. Exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee. Place the left palm over the right palm the other side. That's good. Left palm over the right palm, and look up at your left elbow. Inhale, release the posture. We're going to switch legs to the other side. We're going to get right back, and then we're done. Now, let's go back into the mountain posture. Place your palms on the floor. Take both your legs back. And this time, we're going to inhale. Bring the right foot forward between the hands. Bring your right foot forward. Once you have both your palms nice and secure, place your left knee on the floor. Uncurl your left, the toes on your left foot. And then come back just a little bit. Inhale. Raise the left arm. Exhale. Dip the left elbow over the right knee. Place the right palm over the left palm. Look up at your right elbow. So you want to look. That's it. Very nice. Inhale. Release. Let's untangle ourselves. Let's all sit down. And now we are ready to hear a little more about your journey and about how you feel. How did you feel, James? Doing that? It's quite painful. I've never been very bendy. Well, no. I can see someone with a cup of tea through there. <laughs> well, you, we, we have a machine over here. We can get some <coughs> cup of tea. Are you sure you don't want water? You're OK? Oh, I think it's too Tell us a little it. more about what you've been up to, because I know you, you folks have been driving a lot around. So we'd like to hear about that. Um, well, we started in North Carolina. Yes. And we went, well, we started driving north essentially, to New York. But on the way, we visited 
uh, various things, such as the very first NASCAR raceway. We looked at nice. the culture of moonshine okay. and its effect on motor racing, which is essentially that... <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm really out of breath just from standing there. Hold on. Because the people who made the illegal drink had to outrun the police, right. they would modify their cars and make them much more powerful and much faster. They would get away cars, essentially, but then realised that you know rival bootleggers would be able to have races at the weekend. Right. And out of that culture, we got American NASCAR racing, which is why it's very grassroots and you know they keep the rules quite simple and, and right. the cars are quite basic. It's not like Formula One where it's all you know super high tech and a lot of people mincing around. It's sort of good old boys whiskey and rye and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so we did a bit of that. Um, went on to the Virginia International Raceway where we had a bit of a competition driving around the track. Right. Uh, which I came second in. Um, equal second. Congratulations, wow. Thank you. Uh, where did we go after that? I can't even remember. You've had at least 125 episodes so far, I noticed from your history on Wikipedia. Is that correct? Um, we You've have been done... driving cars in all those episodes? Yes. We've wow. Done... Yes, it did. No, it's more than that in Britain. Okay. We've done 15 series. 15 series, okay. Yes, with an average of eight episodes. So what's that? Five, eights of four, yeah. What were some of the challenges you had on the way? On this trip? Yeah. Um, well, having to drive slowly actually was You're quite difficult. You're not used to with a Ferrari. Well, it, it, it is weird. I mean, I, the thing I don't really understand about America is you have a very, very big country with a very, very low speed limit. <laughs> I mean, in places, 50 miles an hour. Some places, 35 miles an What's hour. What's the speed limit in Europe? Well, in, in, UK. in Britain, the motorway speed limit is 70 miles an hour. Oh, but a lot wow. of people drive at sort of 80, 85, and that's generally considered, you know, the police won't really right. bother They'll you. They'll look the other as way. Long as the, you know, the weather's <laughs> all right and you're being right. sensible. But it seems in quite a few states, you know, the speed limit will be 50 or 55, and they really do throw you in jail if you do 60. So right. we're told. So we had to drive so very too carefully. Slow. Oh, you're talking about here now? Yeah. New York. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's, that's very strange that you should have such a big place and What about the fact speed. that we drive on the right side of the road? Did that be a, was that a problem no, for you? No, that, that doesn't really bother us because in, you know, we're the only country in Europe that drives on the left. Okay. So okay. if you drive in Europe a lot, which we do anyway, right. you get very used to the idea both of driving sides. on both sides. And it's, quite, it's, it's much better. I mean, this will rarely be a problem for you unless you come and drive in England or, well, India actually drives right. on the left. India's so on the, the left is the yogic <laughs> side of the <laughs> road to right? drive on. Yeah. But um, the important thing to do, I think, is if you go and drive on a country that drives on the right, is to drive a left-hand drive car. Right. Because then right. every time you get in the car, you remember that you drive on the right. But if, right. if you take your right-hand drive British car to France, you might end up somewhere quite remote. And I've done this. And you go to bed and you get up in the morning and you forgotten that they drive on the right and you get in the car and because you're sitting where you sit at home you set off on the left and it's only when a car comes the other way around the bend you suddenly think oh no I'm in France I'm supposed right. to drive on the right uh -oh. so that can be quite dangerous yeah so I'd always rather drive a left-hand drive car in Probably America safer to go on a one-way street or is that even worse because it doesn't no. matter if it's a one-way street right no no it doesn't doesn't really make any difference right but the trouble with one-way streets I mean we've got a similar thing in London to the what I see as a problem here is that, you know, I was, I was working my way, just starting from uh, Brooklyn Bridge, just mentally using the grid system. Right. I know, you know, I know sort of Broadway goes diagonally, doesn't it? And there's a few I other... So we can show you. Yeah. So you can sort of, you go north and you count the roads and then you go left or right. So I, I, I could see in my head where this studio must be. Right. But you always get to the bit where you, you plan to go left and you're not allowed to, so you have to go further north and eventually it'll let you go left and then you come down, but then you can't turn left up this street, so you have to go further south. So right. if you imagine you're starting here and your target place is there, you, you do that and instead of going there, you, you sort of gradually home in on it like this, right. I find, until you, eventually <laughs> you come down a tiny little street, you think, yes, there it is. And I didn't expect to win this race. I feel I may well, have been slightly certainly won it, and I hope up. you got something out of this. We are almost out of time as far as the taping goes, but I hope you got something out of this, James. How I did. Do you feel? I feel very stretched. You feel very centered. and I feel very centered. Um, and you're going yeah. to recommend to your colleagues <laughs> to join us next time. I might recommend. I've got some other ideas of what to do with my colleagues before then. <laughs> um, and it's not particularly yogic, and it won't bring them a great deal of inner peace. <laughs> they left you hanging and trying.
I don't think they even I don't think they even attempted to come here. I think they just let me go. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, but thank you so much for joining us, James. It's very You've been calm, a wonderful yeah, I do I, I like it and I like the, the decor and the carpet and I like the thank sense you. of you know it's I'm a, so it's a glad. sit down. You're it's such a, nice a good sit sport down. and I'm sorry that your colleagues missed it. I hope all of you will join us next time. It's their loss. Claudia exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Claudia and Vikram, if you have any questions for James, this is your chance. Very nice to meet you, James. And you. Thank you very much for having me. So you me. have two more fans already. I don't have a secret uh, racing history, but I but have I been watching. But I would love to see your bar afterwards. Uh, well, it's oh, right outside, you. so come have a look. Wonderful. Yeah. I'd love to have a ride in it. You can have a ride in it. Well, you thank you so much. You can sit in it in the lotus position. <laughs> in lotus position inside your car? Mm. Well, as long as I'm not driving, that's fine. No, no, I'll you, drive you can... it. You can, you, <laughs> okay. can, you can find That'd some, be lovely. That'd be wonderful. some more inner peace. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Bye. And Bye, thanks for all of you who are watching us, viewers out there. Whenever you feel like stretching, you know you can walk into our studios anytime. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday, 1.30 in the afternoons, on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. This is Banu Suresh, your host for today. Thank you, Vikram, Claudia. Claudia has been wonderfully sporting as well. Claudia usually directs this program. And I'm so glad you're here, to, uh, Claudia, to keep James company as well. James, thank you. You've been a great sport. Thank I you. really appreciate you coming in. Richard, are we good to leave? Yes, we are. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, your colleagues do.